so this is an example cat file so if you can see it's a kind of uh, there's a mixture of some buildings uh, some roads some plot areas so i need to select uh, all of them in one go so i will quickly go to element selection and then select this uh, select all so if you can see the change in color all the elements have been selected and the cyan color reflected is telling me that uh, yes uh, all the elements are now selected and now i'm going to select within the terrain within the create uh, create uh, section uh, from elements so as i select that uh, option so it's asking it's taking me a confirmation call like data point to add so one triple two selected elements so in my complete cat drawing there are 1222 elements so they have been selected in a one go and it's going to perform so here i need to keep as feature type as break line because break line will uh, signify like i need to perform triangulation over my uh, this cat so i will simply select and give my confirmation so it will create a terrain file okay but here uh, if you can see color attributes have been not assigned because i haven't selected any feature definitions so let us move one step back so if you can see it has performed a triangulation over each and every element which was selected so in this um, all the roads all the buildings uh, everything had been triangulated so in order to avoid such I, if i need to filter out like uh, I, I don't need to perform uh, certain i need to filter out certain levels out and it, suppose i need to keep buildings away from this triangulation so for that purpose there's another uh, good way method to create and we use from graphic filter so before using this graphic filter uh, we need to go to graphic filter manager and then create uh, different types of uh, like uh, groups if i say so one group will be for your those it will contain those levels or those elements which on which uh, you need to perform triangulation and one group will be for those on which you need to we, do not perform or you need to exclude so how to make the difference so difference would come by assigning different types of feature definitions so we'll we'll see also that so let's do it once again so i will quickly select element selection select all and then go to from elements so break line let us define some feature definition And give a you can give a any name you may want to your terrain model so if you can see now the difference between earlier and now because it's uh, mainly due to the feature definition which i have selected right now i've selected a feature definitions to for existing triangles so it's coming out to be my complete terrain in the green color model so if you can see these lines and the uh, kind of meshy things but uh, the um, uh, if you notice uh, there are certain buildings as well over which the triangulation have been performed and these buildings are stored as a se uh, separate level within this uh, cat file so uh, how to do that how to basically separate such uh, um, separate levels or separate elements and keep it away from the triangulation so we need to use graphical filter manager so i'm going to select this graphical filter manager and uh, if you can see uh, there are two options one is filter group and filters so basically filter group will contain a uh, number of filters which you may assign here so over filters i need to create a new filter so i can type in like um, main elements or any um, the I will, I will i will i will be creating two types two different types of groups or two uh, two filters so that one contains my break lines other contains nothing which is simply white 
So here you can see the feature type as uh, break lines. So if I am I want to exclude anything, so I need to select drape point. So always remember, suppose uh, I need to exclude those uh, 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 building parts, so I need to select uh, feature type for them as drape white. So currently, if I go with uh, break lines and edit filter option, so if you can see here levels so these are the levels basically which you want to include so i want to include all except the building so best part is to uh, best would be to include all and leave the buildings right here so select all and add so if you can see the selected levels are default e road lane and rest others but i have uh, kept aside uh, the e side building and e structure building so Within the levels, I will simply click on finish and then again finish. So, my one graphic filter, uh, one filter has been created. Now, I'm going to create another filter for the buildings part. So I'll simply go to again filter, create filter, give it a name buildings exclude. And now, what feature type? I need not to define. In, I need not to triangulate them, so I need to select a feature type as drape white and then select edit filter. Now I will within the levels, I'm going to uh, select only the buildings because I need to define this drape, drape white as a feature type over these buildings only. So now the situation has been reversed. Now the selected levels are east side building and east structure building. Now simply click on finish. Now, if you notice that within my filters, there are two diff, uh, diff separate filters available. One is uh, contains one containing the main elements, and one is the build, building exclude. So it doesn't matter whatever name you can give. Uh, uh, can you again go back to the filter edit filter tab? Because there are a lot of questions where I see people are asking that it can we delete the Z points. So here, if you are importing by uh, method of this uh, CAD file, you see at the end there is something called as elevations. Can you go to the elevations at the end? Web? Yep. Aditesh? There you can exclude. So you can see if levels which are less than or equal to zero. Less than or equal to zero. Type in zero over there in elevation to exclude and add it. So any point which has a level less than or zero will be excluded from the triangulation. So that is one way where you can exclude that error if you see over here. Elevations to exclude. Yep, you can go ahead. So, so uh, we have created a two different filters. One is of break line, and another is of drape white. So, break line, break lines filter will include all those on which you are going to perform the triangulation and the main element, which is on with the name of main elements, main elements, and the buildings which you have defined feature type as drape white will be excluded. So how to process that? We need to create a filter group. So I will again create a filter group. So within filter group, I need to select both these filters. So I can define a filter group name, final or any name which you which me which we may want. And now within no filter selected, you, you can select both those filters which you have created. So main elements and building exclude. Now you have selected within bracket you can see uh, multiple filters selected two in number simply click finish so you have done this uh, kind of setting in the background using uh, uh, graphic filter manager present within the terrain and uh, now if you click from fil graphic filter now i'm going to create my terrain using my graphic filter so first i need to undo this
you can delete that triangle and again create it this if you want select that element selection delete that model and again create that terrain model just select the triangle it will be auto delete you don't need to select the whole selecting from filter graphic filter option and here i will be naming uh, whatever the graphic filter which i have created right now if we can see within the graphic filter i have a quickly get a new filter group i haven't renamed it yet so it's asking again and taking confirmation triangulation option edge method so we can assign as uh, remove slivers or or whatever we may want or keep it as none and later on we can change you can select the feature definition as existed triangles and simply click left click to accept all so within this uh, triangle triangulation you can notice that uh, all those buildings which were in separate level on which we have defined as feature definition as drape white so they have been excluded and rest others have been triangulated So by this uh, method using your uh, from graphical filter method you can separate out your levels or you can exclude like as uh, my Philip Russian said using your uh, you can exclude certain elevations as well and define certain rules for that and uh, so this covers the major part of your terrain, um, terrain creation of terrain and I, repeat, I would like to repeat again I have done this all within the 3d seed file because I'm I'm creating this terrain so for creation of any terrain you need to go with the 3d seed and when i'm i will be getting my alignment file as well i will refer this dgen file within that to uh, within that uh, alignment file which has been created using the 2d seed file so and then if you need to edit some your terrain model like you need to delete your triangles you need to uh, we have another option like if we select our edit model so there are certain uh, tools available like delete vertex suppose one vertex is coming too far and you need to delete those th that vertex and exclude it from triangulation so we have the option for delete vertex then we have delete edge triangles and do have the, you have the option delete triangle by line so using this uh, these edit terrain model tools you can modify your uh, terrain model as required and you can also do your analysis part as well that hydraulic analysis volumes if you want to analysis between two points and reporting if you want to see the conflicting points or intersecting point reports that we used to do in mx the reports that what are the conflicting and the intersecting points so hydraulic analysis tools just give you the you can do the ponding over there that where is the ponding low-lying areas in the terrain models to create those ponds for you even you can see that how one drop of water will flow through that particular train it will trace a path for you